So a little bit about my tats. I put this up as a puzzle. There's part of a cryptographic puzzle to find some Bitcoin uh, last summer, but I deleted everything. So if you didn't grab it, oh well. See the hollow points in there. Six, six. And six. And there's a division symbol that's worn away on the skin here in the E. Division is how we turn negative into positive, isn't it? It won't let me uh, flip the camera now. But anyway, here's a deal. I'm working on something here. Pretty cool, I think. And it's my game. Um, but when we divide two negatives, we get a positive. Sometimes adding your story together makes it more positive. Here's an example real quick, because I do. Um, I had two bad stories about my mother. She put me through hell. And then on my seventh birthday, I was taken away from my mother. Well, what really happened is I got out of hell in that one case because the system stepped in and pulled me out. Anyway, there's my Hydra over there that I fight every fucking day. And there's Hugin and Moonin. And there is our conquest, the Dragon Con. So yes, this is my life. If I'm nuts and I'm LARPing, fuck you. But anyway, I don't want to leave everyone who's actually reading this right uh, with that fuck you. But I got my spirit trap. I'll show you. Let me show you around the, the room a little bit. Here's my curtain. Draw the curtain in my office real nice. Um, but up here I have my D20. It's, I like rolling that as a D20 and fucking with the people spying. There's my truth sigil that creates a spirit trap. And yeah, the door opens. It doesn't matter. It's all about their mentality when you fuck with these people. So up here is where I kept hubs in my little teapot. And there's a, a, a video about Skyrim. I love Elder Scrolls a lot. Everything up here is for a purpose, including my little clocks. One I got at the Pick and Sleep Market where the angels hang out and sell you shit. I'm calling the birds. Old birds, you know? I got my video game set up up there. And I got some supplies. And, and not everything's super meaningful, but I can use anything I look as a palace of memory as I walk around or even sit, actually. Usually sit. That was a demi cage. <laughs> I got it at Walmart, and those gears don't move yet. What does that mean? Well, all translations are just movement, aren't they? So we're moving towards a space where that will become a badass clock over a door that leads to my infinite library. So I'm, I'm, I'm combining. There's my flash mask. I'm a flash in some ways, but I don't really follow the flash. I just have that uh, alacrity in my mind. Uh, room needs some work for, for real. That's my wife's computer with a Hydra, among other things, belong to her deceased husband. Hershey's Kisses, uh, my art table and that. I'm going to clear off and do a beautiful artwork for my wife. Ever way, hell yeah. Uh, a minimal library right now, but i got to get some books back from some friends that I held had holding them. At one point I had a first edition of Origin of the Species. I'll never get back that way. But I am looking for my little uh, mementos, if anyone has them. Um, Satoshi Nakamoto and all, you know, it'll be cool. If I can get my spelling bee watch from Scripps Howard National Spelling Bee 1992, there are my blinds always pulled, but they let the light in from below. Uh, but also, people can't just like accidentally see me in here. Um, not like I'm sitting naked or something stupid, but it's just, it feels like I don't have to look at somebody and I can do my work and it's privacy. I need privacy. I got my speaker there blocking a cat door. When I open it up, Mr. Delku comes in, my cat. He's a part of my belch. Uh, he's a civilized, um, badass. That's why I call him that. He's got these claws that'll rip you. But yet he's a kind, kind soul and he doesn't know love because he's stray. So anyway, there's my little place. What is mathematics? One of my multiple copies of what is mathematics. I love mathematics. Um, here's my little Ganesha right next to him. Some spiritual shit, strong dictionary, cool shit. And honestly, good, good for understanding our codes. A uh, friend of well, say acquaintance. He doesn't know me like a friend, but I like him. Uh, he was asking about whether his uh, forum was being used as a um, certain type of setup, uh, a, a place to drop codes, you know, like you leave you email him in. But I got my Tiferet is balance, and Eastern philosophy fits right over Tiferet real nice if you really want to go that way. And there's a shot glass I picked up nice and heavy. I love it. Uh, we're going to use that for something special. And uh, two mics. I got some mics that I can do. If I need to, but I haven't done that part yet. I'm going to get a good camera. There's my cane. I use it to shut off the light behind there. Uh, there's a switch. I can flip on my blue painted light, which is very important for certain things. And then we got this overhead fan. Oh, God. Ceiling fans is how they would fuck with us with rotating magnetic forces sometimes. Using older tech, but also combining two different technologies to get a better picture. Different ashtrays for different purposes is my mainly metal ashtray. I've done a few um, 
burnings in that thing outside. And we got a little uh, burn mark out on the porch that you won't see. Here, the highway, that's Walhalla Highway. Highway to heaven, bitches. This is not a game. This is not a joke. This is real, and you just don't see it. Isn't that kind of fucked up? Who's making you not see? And of course, here is my friend Justin Case's strategy all day. He likes to put a little lens over you that he gives you this vision uh, when he's using his computer shit. Um, it's uh, called Vineyard View is what he tried with me one time, putting this soft uh, fucking Instagram filter over my reality to kind of make me play ball with him. He's a computer guy, and he gave me vineyard view. God, he has no idea what Martha's Vineyard is. It's never the season of the Taurus, and that's all he had to work with is this soft uh, Barbara Walters filter over life, and it's pretty and all, but I got the real deal in my mind, and I can access it, and therefore access that layer of reality. And in that sense, Martha's Vineyard is both Eden and Elysium to me, and the gods walked there. Their light shone there through the locals. Doesn't mean that each one was like, say, Mars or something, but it was a holy place in the off-season. And then the politicians started coming to eat it alive. So that's that. Not going to occur anymore. Bye.